Nothing like a fresh hat right out of the dryer on a hot summer day. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill. This is Trying to Stand, where I try new things in pop culture because I've been living under a rock. I'm filming this in May because I'm about to move. If everything goes right, this drops in June. Happy Pride to everybody. Um, there will be a link to a fundraiser for the Trevor Project if you are able to and interested in uh, donating. I'll also be making one based off of the ad revenue I collect for June. Um, details on that are in the community tab. I'm going to be listening to Dorian Electra for the first time. And I want to start by saying shout out to all of you guys. I also do my best to look it up. Thank you everyone who informed me that they use they them pronouns. I just think it's awesome A that you let me know and B that we're growing a community that makes sure to research that and do that. You know, proper pronouns are important. I'm gonna be listening to Dorian Electra for the first time. I took the most suggested songs from you guys in said comments and made this playlist. Same rules as always. I get one listen and then the lyrics and see what my brain does. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet, ring the bell, check the settings, set them to all, blah, 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 YouTube birds. And don't forget guys, as always, there are links in the description for education on social injustices in the world. There's an issues in the world card as well as resources for Black Lives Matter, stopping Asian hate, Trevor Project resources, mental health and crisis lines. Should you or someone when you know, need them. But yeah, let's do this thing. I don't know anything about them. My recommended here, we got Rina Soyama, uh, Sophie. So that's all like promising. I like all the, oh, love Joy, Phoebe Bridgers. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if that's like a me algorithm thing, given the videos I've done and what I listen to. That's a good sign. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be starting with the official video for Flamboyant, which I almost read wrong because I'm a soft boy with a smooth brain. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Ooh, this f**ks. Thank you for lighting candles, by the way. Ooh, okay, Phantom of the Opera, magic candles. Ooh, give me that synthy good. That didn't even make sense, but I stand by it. Yes, oh, the little mustache, oh. I promise I will not. I love when that rock kicks in. That's good distortion. Ooh, yeah. Oh, the baby mustache. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, please be careful. Oh, your head. Ooh, thank you for that high. Oh, Oh my God, rock out, kick ass, holy shit. It really does, I love this, holy shit. Ooh, that banged. Oh, I love the energy of it. I love the confidence. It was like a sexy amount of just command over just your presence, who you are. Anyway, flamboyant. I almost forgot the name of the song. Flamboyant definition, I know what it means. Oh, I didn't know it was a French Gothic architecture term. That's what I get for not pulling up the lyrics. Before we started, come on, Bill. I don't know how to word this. There's something about how many music flavors went on there that like it created this ambiguous sound to it. And it, it I loved it. I love implementing that musically when you're talking about no taste for subtlety, no restraint, I'm playing boy and I go all the way. Like I love celebrating like moving past, like when pushing against like a limited viewpoint and introducing a grander scope of just being, then incorporating a wider scope of sound. There was something that was like really exciting about it and it really like, you'd think that would be like messy, but it, it wasn't like it really like kicked in at like really solid points. It was invigorating. It was satisfying. I love the visuals and especially like just seeing, I don't know, times were like even their reflection. There was something about that where it just felt like to their core, this is who I am. But I love the way it made me feel. Like I said, the different flavors. It was just exciting. But I'm going to take a look at those lyrics because holy crap, I, mm, your voice is immaculate. Like, out of here. Some say my fire burns way too high. Some say they find me too hot to touch. It's too much. Okay. But I think it's not enough. Yes. Like that energy, like that encapsulates the whole vibe throughout the whole thing where it's like, I'm going to do literally what I want even harder. God, even musically. Sorry, if there's awkward cuts. My allergies are kicking in and I can't take my allergy medicine before I film because it dries me out and I, 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 I can't be dry for this. 
Yes, no taste for subtlety, no time for restraint. No, I go all the way. I love that sentiment already, and I love it still keeps things open for people who, you know, are more uh, reserved or subtle in their expression. It puts down negativity. It doesn't, it's not, this is the only way. This is just addressing who I am, what I do. And like, no, I'm not going to dial it back or placate. And like your presence throughout the whole thing was just like so confident and empowering. Like it was, I'm tugging at my beard already. That confidence, it's so admirable. I've always been this way since, that, that was my favorite part both times. The baby picture and the childhood picture, it like really cemented just like, this is who I've been throughout my whole life. It's not just wardrobe or costume or something to do just for show. It, it's for work and for play, it's my life. Like that's such an amazing way to like, illustrate this is me throughout. I don't know. I just found it really cute. It was like, again, being very open and confident and proud of who you are. I love that a lot. Like, I don't know. It's, I get that like all the fire, the fireplace, the candles, the fire imagery, like it's a play on the term flamboyant, but I don't know. I think there's something about it where it's like controlled burns. Maybe that's just my smooth brain trying to make everything mean something, but there's something about seeing like control collected burns in a safe environment. Like, I don't know, there's something about that. The control and command you have in the situation, but like also the control that you're advocating and demanding in the song. Does that make sense? Cause it wasn't like the house was on fire and it's like, man, like I'm so flamboyant. I loved how like Rocky and Cynthia it would get. Like your vocals too, that you would explore so much of your range. It feels like the whole concept, it makes me think of like how wide, like the, the spectrum of identity and existence like goes, if that makes any damn sense. I'm outside looking in here. There's just something about it where it's just like, just strong and confident in who you are. Like it, it just, it's exciting. And then the song was exciting. Like, God damn, I loved that a lot. Ooh, that made me really excited and happy. <laughs> I'm already sold. Not that my opinion matters. Ah oh, yes, the newest superhero, Career Boy. Next is the official video for Career Boy. Oh my God. <laughs> No, career boy, use some PTO. Career boy. Oh my God, please be careful of your face. Got me working overtime. F oh my God, no. Okay, yeah, it's satirical, right? Oh my God, the power pose on the desk, F off. No, don't Vogue against the copy machine. That's fantastic. You know it's future. No. <laughs> and it bangs, like what the f it has, you don't, it doesn't need to. Oh my God, this song. <laughs> I can't, they're hilarious. <laughs> no, don't give me the look while you're fucking, no, I can't. Ooh, I don't think I didn't hear that high note back there. Oh my God, call me by your day job. I mean, as long as you're being safe. Yeah, drink some water. <laughs> Hydrate. Yeah. Yes, choreography. Oh my God. That was incredible. First I was, I was sitting here and I'm like, I, I mean, you can find like office work sexy. Like you do you live your best life. But I love just like making fun of how unhealthy, working overtime, staying late, the the barrier that's sometimes there when trying to like find a balance in your life. Like, cause it was a lot of, you know, screaming at the, the monitor, uh, chugging coffee, coffee directly into your veins. Not only like pointing fingers at like the societal element of giving so much of yourself to your job, but also poking fun at the, at like the concept of like flexing at that. Cause like, I won't lie. I, I used to be a part of that mindset of like, oh man, I care so much about school or practice or auditions or, you know, work or whatever that like, I haven't gotten like more than four hours of sleep in a week. And it, that, no, Bill, please go to sleep. <laughs> like Jesus, the commitment to it's amazing. Not only are you a great and interesting artist, you're an amazing performer. Like that was incredible. They're just really selling it. Perfectly shot too, like with the camera angle up and then the, the up look kind of shot. It was just perfect. I can't. <laughs> I wish I could sit here and go, what are we joking about guys? But yeah, please call out not only that element of life, but it is unhealthy and really showing the extremes of it. And then I don't know if the visuals were hitting on, it's like 
masochistic, like damage yourself that much for your work, like mentally or emotionally, or even I'd argue physically. The call me by your day job. I'm sorry. I can't unthink it now. Choke me like you hate me office moment. I, a, I love the creativity just of the visual. <laughs> was way too good. Don't get me wrong. I wish I still had my day job now. Thanks, 2020. It did give me that vibe a lot, like when I went from auditions and restaurants to auditions and an office setting for a short period of time. Like, yeah, there's some times where it's like, you need to calm down, my guy. And they really nailed it. And the choreography, like the briefcase choreography, like killed me. That was so good. I won't lie. Like that was especially school. I would not see the sunlight. I would, I had zero period classes. And then I would also stay behind for like theater stuff. Spoiler alert. I was a theater kid. Can't you tell? By the everything about me. If it wasn't the daddy issues, it's the need for attention. But like hitting on like not seeing the sunlight, but keeping that like sexy, sultry energy of like, oh yeah, I work way too much. I don't get enough sunlight and something's probably wrong with that. Like I love that whole vibe to it. Cause like I first noticed it when like it started to feel like a love like power ballad. It never got like played out. Like it just kept escalating both in the visuals, but then also the music, like God, it it was, that was really funny. I liked that a lot. Good day so far. Sorry. Like, <laughs> ooh, punish me, daddy. Tell me I can't go home. Like, it was so good. Jesus, speaking of, next is the official video for Daddy Like. That was not intentional. Daddy Like, the official video. Daddy like. Ooh, hello. I too like. I wanna love you all the time. Do you mean it, dad? <laughs> I don't get it. Dad, Dad's call? Oh, that kind of daddy. I get it now. Got it. Got it. Oh no, be careful. Why do you always damage your head and everything? Oh, F in the chat for daddy. Daddy like that. Demon daddy! Oh god. <laughs> I mean, it really bopped, but like... <laughs> F in the chat for daddy, but then daddy came back. Again. Wrong kind of daddy, Bill. I'm like, dads don't come back. Daddies do. Got it. All right. <laughs> That's too dark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That joke is for me to unpack on my own. Ring-a-ding-ding in the limousine. Yeah, I buy you nice things. Daddy, chill. Are you my baby? You making me crazy? Daddy like, daddy like. I don't know. I thought it was really funny. It didn't feel like it was putting down like sugar daddies, right? Like once we started like talk about money and limousine ride. I couldn't tell you what, like why we got to like a news conference thing. I thought it banged. I thought it was funny. So many people asked for this one. I mean, I can't deny like the one, I like it like this, two, I like it like that, three, I like it like this again, again, again. I guess it does kind of talk about the control element a little bit, but like, I don't, I, I couldn't tell you if it was like putting it like in a negative light or just simplifying it. I don't know. At least daddy calls. Like so many things I have talked about and will talk about in the future. It's really out of my knowledge base wheelhouse and that's fine. I like the way it sounded though. I liked, like it had like a very dance kind of sexy feeling to it. I'll give it to you on time and I'll ask real nicely. I'm gonna give you what you want now. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, that's nice. Are we a, are we a nice daddy? But yeah, I think it just, I think a lot of it just went like super over my head. But I like the way it sounded though. I might be going too dark. I might be reading into it a different way, but the idea of this is a daddy, like daddy dying. And then this is a daddy that will come back, dot, 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 from the grave. I don't know why I found that really funny. Maybe this is just about a nice daddy. A daddy that will come back. That's, yep, I'll just leave it there. I can't think of anything else. Is it like eye to eye? Is it a goofy movie? Next is Man to Man, the official video. Ooh, hello, Cicero Lipschitz. But I'm gonna say it straight to you. Ooh, okay. Yeah, feel free to fight me. I probably deserve it. I'll say what I mean. Yes, honesty. Communication. Ooh. But no, fighting's bad. Yes! Use our words, thank you. No, not the swords, oh God. Stop hurting their head. Ah, uh, it was an orange slice, it's a mouth guard. Kiss. Ah, yes! Ooh, okay, high note. Yes, use our words or our lips, whichever one. Fucking kiss me, bro. 
Yes! I loved that. Are you strong enough? Are you brave enough to talk it out? Or are you just gonna try to fight me? I loved that. Thank you. Like I. First off, insanely accurate. They've done it a lot so far, but thank you for kind of kissing the cheek of and pushing back on toxic masculinity. I appreciate that a lot, but I love the visuals of it. Like, I don't know, it was even something about like the swords. Like first I was like, yeah, throughout history, like there's been a lot of that stupid bravado nonsense that's led to a lot of stuff. There was a lot of good like synth and stuff to it, but it had like a very sultry, like sexy loungy kind of feeling to it. The kiss, how did it start out like this? That was, <laughs> I was, joking thank you for making that a reality though because also low-key i wasn't <laughs> if you're gonna get this close to my face just kiss me let's hug it out like i thought it was i thought it was really a very clever but also <laughs> really captivating and really funny but like accurate <laughs> i love just the man-to-man -man, you gotta let me in which works in a lot of ways you know pushing back on that like you know don't talk it out don't feel your feelings like it's something that i for a majority of my life struggled with aggressively for one reason or another, and I, I don't know. I openly also accept <laughs> the poking fun, the put down of the concept, but I also just really appreciate embracing that and talking about it, acknowledging it. One on one, friend to friend, are you man enough to soften up? Are you tough enough to open up? Like, f yeah. I don't know, I think there's also something funny about hand to hand now making me think, cause first I was like, oh, who are we fighting? And it's like, we're fighting toxic masculinity. But hand to hand also now makes me think like, take my hand, like, let's go talk about it. Like get some coffee or like, you know, go outside, talk somewhere private, just like hash this thing out. What's going on, you okay? Like it just, it changes the meaning so much. Don't beat around the bush, don't talk behind my back, quit acting cowardly, like, you know, healthy options only, bruh. <laughs> the kiss looking so aggressive too. Cause like, I couldn't tell if that was like makeup or from the mouth guard or if it was supposed to be like blood, but for a minute it almost looks like, like I'm gonna make out with you so hard that it's gonna mess up our mouths. Like it, I don't know. I admire greatly and appreciate the sentiment so much. And the song was great too. Like that might be my favorite one so far. I don't know. I've loved all of these. Flamboyant might also be my favorite so far. I love that the song, yes, poked fun in it. Again, rightfully so. I'm not gonna deny that. <laughs> but it's like also kind of advocating for better solutions, better headspace and mindset. Like taking that extra step because it easily could have just been like, <laughs> what do you have a big truck or something? Like the trajectory of the song could have just stayed on like, man, what a douchebag. It really facilitated also like a, Talk it out, hug it out. I feel like the song really like advocated for a solution or a different mindset as well as going, this is stupid. And like the fact that they take the time to like make sure that there's that kind of element. It, it's felt without all of these, like really addressing like the masochism behind career boy, pushing back on the stereotypes that are presented as obstacles in flamboyant. Like they really take the time to go, this is stupid and here's a way around that. Like I love that about their work so far. Like I, don't know, I also think this is stupid important. As a soft boy with a smooth brain, I feel, I feel very seen right now, thank you. Open up to me. <laughs> like it just, there's something about that that I loved so much. Oh damn it. That was great. Oh, thank you for the warning at the beginning of your video. Next is Edgelord featuring Rebecca Black. What, like Friday Rebecca Black? Okay, what's up? I didn't know Rebecca Black was still doing stuff. Okay. This starts with a strobe warning, so I'm gonna put the time here to skip the video just in case. Shout out to people who are photosensitive. Ironically, while well, I stressed out about that in my Sophie video. Um, so yeah, strobe warning. It's not a bit, being super genuine, warning you right now. The time to skip to will be right over there. We're closing out the night with Edgelord feet Rebecca Black, the official video. Rebecca, I hope Rebecca Black's doing well. Hello, the Joker bunny? Oof. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, and it bangs. Oh, the video quality. That's frightening. Oh, the dab. No, that's cursed. Ooh, hello, guitar. Wait, why are you a bunny? Hi, Rebecca Black. Ooh, hi, Rebecca Black. Ooh. Oh, please be careful. Oh, stop breaking glass. No, be careful of your friggin' head. Man, they keep hurting themselves. Okay, Spencer's gifts. It really 
I really liked the song though, like it kind of banged. That was a lot. Get out of here, we live in a society. I like the sound of it a lot, like going so over the top, poking fun at the concept of like trolling and the like, you know what I mean? I'm just looking at the lyrics already because that was, <laughs> I don't know how much of the video I could use because I don't want to trigger somebody with the strobe stuff, which thank you for putting that warning again. I like how all over the place the edgelord kind of character was, but then like cutting in with Rebecca Black just being so so like confident. I really liked that. Like it felt kind of like pushing back on people that take stuff like too far. Like even in the lyrics, like I'm your edge lord. I'm so edgy. Wanna F me? Okay, F you. I don't need you. Getting rejected and then like, oh well, whatever. You're the problem. We live in a society that's always lashing out at guys like me. They push me to the edge. Oh, that's interesting. Watch me jump down, taking you down, pushing you right to the edge. Yeah, I think it's about not only like just the concept of stuff in general, but then the neglect from people who respond in that way to the impact they're having on another person. Because first it was like, you're pushing me to the edge, but now watch me jump down, take you down, pushing you right to the edge through certain like toxic or hostile tactics, like doing any level of like possible harm to others. You know what I mean? Been in the game six, seven, eight, nine years. Wait, when did this come out? Oh, 2020. Oh, this is a quarantine bop. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess we live in a society is the most recent uh, incarnation of the of the Joker boy. So is Rekka, Rekka Black, is Rebecca Black playing herself? Been in the game six, seven, eight, nine years, right? Time to feel old. If this was 2020, yeah, Friday would be like what? 2010, 2011-ish? Yes, it was on my my commute shuffle, unironically. Feel lucky that you ever caught a glimpse before I turn your favorite F boy to a simp. I like the, the reference with her in the car, but like, I'm wondering if Rebecca Black, at least like the lyrics, right? Like Rebecca Black's POV is her own. Hold on, before I say that, what is Rebecca Black's pronouns? Oh, Rebecca Black came out as queer, yay. But no, I think Rebecca Black is playing herself. You know, or Rebecca Black's POV is definitely her own, you know, touching on it at least. I like taking on the the topic, the that general mindset. Again, I'm I'm very outside looking in here, not only as a much smaller uh, content creator, but also just I haven't experienced that personally. And I feel like even if I did, it'd be presumably different since I am a male. So there's that. I don't know. I like kind of taking it on, but also like kind of making fun of it at the same time. I loved like the over the top, the way that it was like shot and like the saturation. I loved how chaotic it looked. Why Dorian Electro, they keep getting their head smashed and I feel bad. I know it's props and stuff, but like your poor head, especially that line turning your favorite boy to a simp. Like, I don't know. I kind of liked addressing both sides of it. Someone who is going to do the opposite of be attentive and then one who would, to put everything very mildly and generally, go f way too attentive, if that makes sense. I liked kind of touching on both ends of it. I liked the way it sounded and given the the topic and the the tone of it all, I feel guilty <laughs> enjoying the song. You directly quoted that we live in a society. I can't. I really liked it and I'm so conflicted that I liked it. But like even stating at the beginning how it's like, you pushed me, like not wanting to take a look at like the reality of the situation, accepting rejection, things like that is just like, you know, oh, we created the, the Joker. You know, I really had a good time listening to your stuff. I'm sorry, I just saw that the next suggested song is Gentleman slash Milady, and they're wearing a fedora and it looks like they're drinking Mountain Dew. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna be completely transparent. I always count the votes and everything. If people want a part two, let me know by liking, leaving comments, sharing, help this video do well, let the algorithm know and let me know that you want more if you do. I wanna do Gentleman slash Milady next. Um, let me know guys. Feedback as well as support and kindness as well as suggestions for other things are always very helpful. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I really had a great time. Giving me so much to think about, but also it was very like validating as someone who's had to like push back like the influences of or being around toxic masculinity, like having to kind of grapple with my own in my own like life and everything. It was very validating. Like it didn't feel overtly insulting, but I really enjoyed it. Like all the songs like really banged. Like God, I really loved Man to Man and Flamboyant, but then I also like Edgelord could easily become like a like a guilty pleasure. It also makes me feel like really bad because like that's 
It's a real issue, and especially someone who's gone viral like Rebecca Black has, like I can only imagine how more personal that would be. I really like Dorian Electra's stuff. I think they're really talented. I think they're really funny. I also think their execution is very strong. I really had a great time. I hope you guys did too, but yeah. There you guys go. Those are my thoughts on listening to Dorian Electra for the first time. What did you guys think of my thoughts? What are the things that I missed? What are your takes? Your favorite songs? Do you want a part two? Let me know in the comment section down below. And by liking the video, if you did, subscribe if you haven't. You want more. Ring the bell. Check the settings. Make sure they're set to all. Blah, blah, blah. YouTube birds. And don't forget, guys, as always, there are links in the description for education on social injustices in the world. There's an issues in the world card, as well as resources for Black Lives Matter, Stopping Asian Hate, Trevor Project, and Mental Health and Crisis Lines. Should you or someone you know need them, there's also a fundraiser linked should everything have gone well to donate to the Trevor Project for the month of June for pride. But I also hope that you feel pride in who you are year round. Thank you so much for watching guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, this is the last video I'm filming in this studio setup. Uh, so next time you see me, if you're watching these chronologically, um, I'll be in the new setup unless something went horribly wrong, but I hope you guys are staying safe. Be mindful of others, wear a mask if you choose to go out, drink some water. Remember to take care of yourselves, please.